Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making tabbouleh. This is a Mediterranean salad that my mom has made for me my entire life. She always makes it at parties and she gets amazing compliments over it. It's a super easy and healthy salad to make. You can have it for lunches, you can have it as a side dish. Um, it's very good for you. Um, but yeah, some of you have tried it and wanted to know how to make it, so today I'm going to teach you. The ingredients of it are parsley, chickpeas. Now, not everybody uses chickpeas when making tabbouleh, but my mom does, and I think it tastes better than other tabbouleh I've had that don't have chickpeas, but it's completely optional. Um, wheat, tomatoes, lemon juice, salt and pepper, and then green onions. And so first things first, get out all your ingredients in preparation. Here's the wheat I use, and I got it from Kassar's in Morgantown. So here's the wheat soaking, and by the end it should be pretty light and fluffy and less grainy. So this is the type of parsley we use. We usually get about six to eight bunches, depending on how much you want to make. But we're going to go ahead and start washing this. So we're going to just keep the parsley on a chopping board. We're going to be taking the leaves off. And let's go ahead and clean the rest of our vegetables. So now we're going to pick the leaves off of the parsley. This is probably what takes the longest. Um, but basically what you're going to do is just pick them off, leaving any stems behind. If you're in a rush, you can also just chop off the parsley, but this has a better quality and leaves less stems behind if you do it like this. So here's the parsley without any stems. Parsley is good for you because it has vitamins A, C, and K and antioxidants. So now we're just going to add the parsley to a blender or food processor. I wouldn't put all of it in at once though. Just do about half and half. Added to a big bowl. As you can see, it should be very finely chopped. So next, you're gonna want to cut your tomatoes. You just do them vertically in halves and get about three cups chopped. Tomatoes are good for you because they have antioxidants and um, lycopene, which helps reduce your risk of cancer and heart disease. Next, you're going to drain and rinse chickpeas. So use about two cans of chickpeas. And chickpeas are good for you because they have protein and it's a good substitute for a vegetarian dish like this. Next you're gonna chop your green onions. Green onions are good for you because they're an excellent source of vitamin K. Now your wheat has soaked up all the water, so add it to your tabbouleh. Next, add half a cup of olive oil. Then add half a cup of lemon juice. I'm going to be using some fresh mint for this. Pop the mint and add it. Then you add salt and pepper to taste. And that's how you make tabouleh. Thanks for watching.